Hey, what's up guys? So you might notice I'm sitting between two of my favorite 3D printers. Now, right here, I got that Creality CR10. Here, I got the TiVo Tornado. Now, these are the two largest 3D printers for the price range. Both of them retail for about $500, but you can get them on sale on GearBest with my links in the description for, I believe, $359. So they're both the same price. Uh, they both have a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400. So very, very large build volume. And they have a lot of similarities. So I decided, since I'm one of the only YouTubers that really has both these, that I, I should make a comparison video. Now there is definitely some pros and cons to each of these. Um, and uh, yeah, they, it, there's not really, I guess, a winner or a loser, but there's definitely some pros and some cons. So we'll take that into consideration and I'll let you decide which one you think is better for you. But let's start off right here with the Creality CR10. Okay, the first thing the Creality is gonna win on is originality because this design, they came up with this first. Um, this, a lot of this is just kind of a copy on the Creality as far as like the frame, the way the frame's constructed, the bed, both of them have eccentric nuts on the bed, both of them have a nice, uh, nice aluminum frame, um, the, the way the belt systems are, these brackets are like identical, um, where the limit switch just go, it's all basically identical. They have single lead screws. So the build, the build quality is basically identical as well as the assembly. Both of them assemble like that. Like in 10 minutes you can have it ready, good to go. But because this one was the original, I'm gonna say this one takes a slight, a slight mark on uh, you know originality. Okay, now that being said, we got a couple a couple differences now. Let's start with the extruders. Uh, we got the Titan extruders, the same that's on like your, you know, uh, your other TiVos, and we got just your, you know, a standard, you know, right? I don't know what it's called, just a standard extruder. But I actually like the Titan one a little better. Also, too, this came with an extra one. So if you ever have it fail or anything, they, they give you an extra one. So um, I'm gonna give a slight nod on the extruder to the TiVo Titan extruder. Um, right out of the box, ready to go too. You're going to need to print a couple of upgrades for the CR10 mainly. The CR10, it needs strain relief on the bed because it, it, this wire can just go back and forth and you, you want to make some strain relief for that. So that's right away. Also too, I have a filament guide right here and that just helps the filament not touch this greasy lead screw and get your filament all dirty which is going to get, you know, then into your machine and translate over to your print. So. I'm going to give a slight nod, you know, on the extruder to that. Um, next big difference we have here is the control boxes. Now, they're very similar. They're very similar style. They're about the same height. This one's like twice as long though. So I like how this one's shorter, but not only that, I like how this one's not nearly as loud, okay? They both have about the same fan in them, about the same, you know, they're about equally loud, but this one only runs when it's under a load. Like it turns on. For a little bit, turns off. Turns out it, it's it's actually the fan's probably off more than it's on. This one is on all the time. Whether the printer is printing, not printing, doesn't matter. Um, also, too, this one heats up way faster. Right when this video started, I started both these printers. This one's been printing for a good however long the video has been going. This one's just starting now. That's because the bed is powered by AC power on here, so it heats up like that. And it's also supposed to be more energy efficient. Well, this one takes forever to heat up, especially if you're printing ABS. If you're printing ABS or higher temp materials, I say right off the bat, the TiVo Tornado is gonna to be better for you, at least as far as out of the box. It's gonna take some modifications to really get good quality ABS results and other high temperature filament results out of the CR10. And that's because the CR10, this bed is so big, it takes forever for it to heat it up. I got it to 95 degrees, but it took like almost an hour for it to heat up, where this one, you can get it to 110 in two minutes. The, the problem with this is the bed needs to be insulated. The day I got the bed to 98, or sorry, 95 degrees, it was really hot, like a hot day to begin with. But if it was a cold day, I can see that bed never getting that high, at least not without insulating the bed a little. So if you insulate the bed, you know, then you'll be okay. But right out of the box, you're gonna have trouble printing ABS or some higher temperature materials um, out of this, at least anyways. Um, I do like how the bed on this one is glass though. Uh, the glass bed, uh, it's definitely, definitely nice, you know, it's perfectly flat. Um, you do have to use a little bit of glue stick to get it to glue down, or some hairspray or whatever you like to use. While on here, the other hand, 
You don't use anything. It's just good to go. They also give you a second sheet of this. This is like PEI type stuff. They give you a, a second sheet. I probably, I've had this printer for a month. This one for three weeks. So I've had a lot of prints on both of these. Um, yeah, and I've really been able to put them through their paces. I've also done a couple, you know, modifications that, that are just to make it easier to use, like these bed tuning knobs. Um, one thing with the Tivo Tornado is it does not come with a spool holder. There's a there's a spool holder G-code on the supplied SD card, so you're going to want to print that, but out of the box, they don't have one. Um, also, too, on the CR-10, normally, the spool holder's right here. I mounted it up here. You probably can't see it. With just the regular one there, I just screwed the hole a little bigger, or drilled the hole a little bigger, popped it in. Okay, now, as far as the printers go, yeah, they both are really good. Uh, the quality on them is both great. I'll show you guys some test prints I did uh, on my review videos in a minute, but just like right off the bat, I mean, they're both printing uh, great. And uh, with, you know, with PLA, they're both, they're both amazing. This one just with ABS, it's gonna take a little work to get this one to print ABS perfectly. Um, as far as support though, that's, that's one thing that could be a deciding factor for you guys. Now, the Creality, they have, there's tons of people that have owned this printer. It's, it's older, this one's pretty new. This printer is only like, I, like, I was one of the first people to probably get this, one of the first people to review it. This has been out a while, so there's a big community of people that use this printer, and if you have any problems with it, there are Facebook groups, they have Thingiverse groups, there's a huge Reddit community that you can pretty much always get to the bottom of what's, if something messes up on it, you can get to the bottom, figure it out, and all that. Now, this one, it's still new, so there's not a lot of upgrades for it. There is upgrades, though. I saw somebody already made a new fan, uh, a cooling fan, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to print that out. But, you know, I printed these knobs. I'll put the link in the description to all this stuff. But, yeah, I mean, right off the bat, very, very good. Uh, very little modification needed on this one at all. But, you know, there is always going to be some things people want to do. So, as far as how many prints you can find and upgrades, right, stock, like if you're not somebody that wants to design your own, you're going to be able to find a lot more on Thingiverse and stuff on the CR-10. As of right now, anyways, it's going to take a while for this one to build up the community that the CR-10 has. So the CR-10 is definitely going to win in the aspect of which one has more support and a bigger community around them. Um, yeah, like here, let me show you guys a couple just uh, test prints I did in my other review videos. I'll show you a vase I did on each, as well as maybe a Benchy or something I did on each, um, and I'll play those right now. Okay guys, so you can be the judge off of those test prints, which ones you think were better, but basically the way I see it is this is like an iPhone and this is like a Galaxy S8. If you're the type of person that you want something that the big community around it, that all your friends have, you know, that's pretty easy to use and everything, you get this one. But if you want something that, you know, a little different, you know, it's got the AC power, it's also got some features on here like you can baby step, which is like t tiny adjustments. Um, you know, you're, you maybe you're the Android guy. You want to like, you have something a little different that can do some cool stuff that uh, you know you just don't see every day. I say you get this one, but that's really just my analogy. You can take it for what it is. I think they are both great printers. There'll be links to both these in the description. Um, yeah, I say the big thing is the community behind it and having support and everything. Get this one. But if you just want to try something new, that's awesome and. Yeah, and then just, 
want to be a little different, go for this one. So, I don't know. I think personally, if I had to give one away and I could only keep one, it would be the T4 Tornado. Just because I don't want, I don't want to have to do any modifications to print the more exotic material. And yeah, I just really, really like this machine. But I love this one too. But take it for what it is. Thanks for Gearbest for sending me both these. Thank you guys for all the support on this channel. I, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are too awesome. And I'm trapped against this wall and I'm getting claustrophobic. So I'm going to get out of here. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. And keep on rocking in the free world.